To get it onto the barge, you can't just drop 130 tons on and hope it's going to stay in one place. Early start from Bluff this morning, the transport operation from the port of Bluff to Supply Bay. We specialise in um, all kinds of large and over-dimensional and specialised transport operations and, and lifting and rigging. This is quite unique, um, it's a bit more customised. We've been working on a new barge and a loading system to take these transformers across the lake. We've taken an old transformer out yesterday and uh, the weather's good today. We hope to get the second one back across and that'll get a generating unit in hopefully by Christmas. The barge was designed to carry the weight of the transformer and its trailer, 130 plus tonne. The challenge was to, was to get the trailer and the transformer onto the barge and that's where the wedges come in. For months and months and many hours of effort, it was three minutes to load. <laughs> it's one of those funny things. We did bring the transformers in previously from Deep Cove, which is out on the sea, but the structures out there would have needed significant improvements. We'd also needed to replace the barge over here, so we saw an opportunity to merge the two, and yeah, it all turned out. I was in the trail boat, and watching the barge come across, it was good feeling. The major advantage to this is that it's, um, you don't have to wait for a bunch of transformers to come in at the same time that we can do these one by one and if there's any faults in the future that we know that this is nice and easy. The biggest challenge with the design is you need to get a fairly big piece of steel down a tunnel that's two kilometres long and it's really only so big and once you're down there it actually needs to fit into a vault that was designed in the 1950s, 60s for a certain size transformer so our space is limitation and the constraints are real. So Looking forward to the new transformer going back into service. These are big, big plant, you know, 128 megawatt units, so you know it means a lot for New Zealand. We've only got five in service at the moment, so it causes a few headaches over the last couple of years, but um, I think we're on the home straight now with one coming in, so it's really exciting.